Um, I'm going to be reading some more FMLs again that I found. I thought they were pretty funny, so I figured I'd share them. So it is Twiggy. <laughs> anyway, life's been sucking lately, so let's make fun of other people's lives. Because why not? Today, I was riding my bike on a sunny but windy afternoon. Coming up to an intersection, the wind switched directions and my wig blew off and landed in the middle of the road. At this point, I was almost at the other side, but I had to turn around and grab my hair before the light turned green. <laughs> Could you imagine? You're just riding your bike, minding your own business, enjoying the day. And then your wig just flies off into the middle of the road. Ow! Why are you biting me? Sorry, my ferrets are biting my legs. Today, my wife is totally convinced that she was abducted by aliens last night. All because she fell out of bed. I don't know. I don't know, guys. There's been a lot of talk about aliens. I think it, I think it might start being a thing where you're like laying in bed and then you just fall out of the sky onto the floor next to the bed. I think that's gonna, that might start being a thing, I don't know. Just keep an eye out. Today while spacing out about my hot male boss, <laughs> he called my name for something and I replied, yes daddy. <laughs> I kind of wish they put like what happened next in this. Um, did you guys like go out to eat? Anything? Nothing? It'd be good to know the rest of the story. Today, I dreamed that I was making out with a cute girl. Just as I was about to take it to the next level, she suddenly burst into tears and said, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't even get laid in my dreams. <laughs> you poor thing. Today, I went out to eat. When I walked into the restaurant, a lady approached me and said she'd see me soon. After a long way, I saw that same lady leave. Then I realized she didn't actually work there and was just screwing with me. <laughs> I feel like I would do that. I should do that. Why haven't I done that? Today there was a potluck, potluck at my girlfriend's house. I had a sour stomach. Pause. <laughs> Who says that anymore? For real. Sour stomach? I normally just say I have like a stomach ache, upset stomach, nauseous any of those. I've never said sour stomach. Anyway, continue. So I went to the bathroom to relieve myself. When I flushed, nothing happened. They had to call a plumber to fix the toilet filled with my crap. The whole family watched, noses plugged and faces cringed, looking at me. Good. Good job. Today and for the past month, I'm so lonely that I fall asleep holding my teddy bear's paw for comfort. That one's sad. Guys, knock it off. Today at work, a lady asked me for a burrito, large coke, and hot sauce. While repeating back the order, the words got stuck and I accidentally said, large cock. <laughs> I got written up for being inappropriate. <laughs> That's not fair. Obviously, she didn't mean to say l large cock. Or maybe she did. Maybe she was offering that on the menu and it was inappropriate. Stop biting me. Today I fell off the top of my bunk bed in my sleep onto a running fan. <laughs> can we can we just take a moment to like visualize that? <sighs> it's good. <laughs> I, I like it. Today my husband rolled over in his sleep, cuddled up to me and lovingly whispered, I love you, pizza. Who cuddles pizza? Actually, who doesn't cuddle pizza? That's that's the question. Today while at the supermarket, I came back to one of my car windows smashed in. Apparently the stuffed animal my son left in the back seat looks like a dehydrated dog. <laughs> Could you imagine getting your your car window smashed for the well-being of an inanimate object? <laughs> Today, I had a parked car. I was walking. 
To make the scene more embarrassing, the car alarm shocked me and I backed up quickly into the parking meter, knocking me down once more. <laughs> Today, I was so busy checking my phone for live bus arrival times, I didn't notice the bus pull up, let the people beside me on, and drive away. <laughs> Today, I received my camera in the mail. I had sent it back to the company because it wouldn't turn on. As I was reading the note they put in it, it said, <laughs> battery was put in backwards. No other problems found. Well, that's gotta suck. Especially because like when you return something into like a company that you bought a product from and tell them that there's like something wrong with the product, they have to take it back and look it over and then whatever and then send it back to you. That takes a while. It could take like a few months. Imagine waiting a few months for your camera to come back in the mail just for them to tell you you put your your fucking batteries in backwards. That sucks. Stop it. Stop biting. Today I thought it would be funny to sneak behind my cat and scare it with a loud BOO. The cat responded by jumping up, running across my apartment, which would have been fine, except for the fact that she left a trail of liquid shit everywhere she went. <laughs> I guess that's what you get for trying to scare your cat, though. Today, after months learning Chinese, selling my house and everything I own for my big transfer to Hong Kong, my boss decided I should instead go to our other branch across town. Oh, I would be pissed. Wow. Like, selling everything you have because you're gonna move to, like, fucking Hong Kong and shit, and then they're like, hmm, never mind. <laughs> we were kidding. Sorry. Today I had my girlfriend over to meet my parents. After dinner, we were in the living room talking. My dad thought it would be funny to grab our cat, stick it down his shirt, then pretend to give birth to it. With sound effects. <laughs> Way to go, dad. Today I went to my new job at a preschool. I was really excited because everything was going so well, and a little boy even said he was drawing a picture of me. He even gave it to me when he was finished. Well, it was me, but I was also on fire and being stabbed and shot multiple times. <laughs> Isn't that how, like, serial killers are made? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how serial killers are made. Are you trying to say hi? Today, I had to grip the headboard of my bed for the very first time in months. <laughs> I wasn't having incredible sex. Unfortunately, just really bad gas. Oh, baby. Today I lost control of my car on a patch of ice and slid off the road messing up my car. I was working on a news story about bad road conditions. Today my boyfriend left for a two-year job posting in China. We had agreed to maintain a long-distance relationship and even worked out a visiting schedule. Later that night, after trying to reach him, I realized the numbers he gave me weren't for China. The country code doesn't even exist. Today I got a fancy new bra made of organic cotton. Or well, the outside of it is. The inside, would, which actually touches my skin, is made of 100% polyester. Lady, I think your life is going pretty well if that's the only thing that you can complain about. So, good for you. I'm happy for you. Today I was bored and horny and I figured, what the hell, and downloaded an adult visual novel. Five hours later, I was heartbroken and couldn't stop crying. <laughs> Today, whilst working in a law firm, I took a call from a criminal demanding that we apply for bail as he didn't like being in jail. When I tried to explain no one likes being in jail, he became angry and hung up the phone. Today I previewed the website my twin brother created and emailed to all our wedding guests. Under his bridal party introduction, he had written, Mike and Steve first met when they were high-fiving their way out of their mom's vagina. <laughs> Today my boss fired me and later on Facebook, his public status was finally fired the sumo wrestler. Ouch. Today I was in bed with my boyfriend starting to get intimate with him. When one of his friends walked into the room, grabbed my leg and pulled me onto the floor. His reason? He was hungry and he wanted McDonald's. 
I don't blame them. McDonald's is good. <laughs> Today, I got a call from the bank telling me my mom's company is going broke. She's been on holiday for a month and I had been appointed to manage it. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think she's coming back. <laughs> Yikes. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it at least distracted you from all this craziness for a little bit. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.